So this is, what are we, 711 here? 7-11. So this is page 311. And you can see the ones that I want you to do. So circle those or highlight them or however you want to do that. So it's 8 and 9. And then 18, 19, and 20. And I'm only having you do those because for the last two weeks, we've been doing these kinds of problems. And so this lesson is adding and subtracting fractions. And most of them looks like they have mixed numbers. Now it's important, and they, they point this out to you right here, it's important that you do um, the parentheses first. Always do the parentheses first because it makes a difference in the answer. So Ms. Carduno, what's the first thing you would do in these problems? Thank you. Do the parentheses first. So um, let me pick one. I'll do number nine. All right, so I'm looking at number nine here. And uh, it's eight and two-fifths minus, and then in parentheses, three and two-thirds plus two and three-fifths. So I'm going to just put down three and two-thirds and two and three-fifths. The first step to solving this problem. Now, it's important that you realize that in that it's addition. And then the next step, once I have that answer, then the next step is going to be subtraction. So you guys need to pay attention to that. Otherwise, you'll make a mistake and you'll get it wrong. Okay? So the common denominator, we're talking about 3 and 5. I think it's pretty obvious to most of you it would be 15. 5 goes into 15 3 times and 3 times 3 times. 3 goes into 15 5, 5 times 10. And again, this is addition. So all I have to do is add the numerators. I'm adding what's up here. And um, so 10 and 9 is 9 over 15. Now somebody in their class asked me about that. They were kind of confused on what to do. Ms. Shields, you seem pretty excited. What would you do in this uh, step right here? You, um... Okay, so 15 goes in the 19 how many times? One. It goes in once. And so if we were to subtract 15 from 19, what's left over? Four. Four up, and the denomination is the same. That would be 15. Ooh. Now... We're still not done with what's in the parentheses. This is just the fraction part that we've dealt with. Okay? We still have the 3 and the 2, which is what? 5. five. Okay? But we still, to that 5, we need to add 1. So what's in the parentheses? 6 and 4. 15. That's what's in the parentheses. That's this part here. Okay? Now, now we got to set up again. So we're, we're now about 8 and 2 this, 8 and 2 this. And what are we subtracting? 6 and 4 fiends. Maybe you guys can see why I'm only having you do a few of these, because it would take you quite a while. And for a lot of these, it's almost like each one problem, you're doing two problems. Because we're still just working on number 9 here. So this is trend. Down here should be 15. That stays the same. 5 into 15, 3 times 6. Okay? So, 4 for 6 is 2. 2 is And then 6 and 8, 2. 2. So, the answer for number 9 would be 2 and 2 and 15. Okay? So, that's how you do these, these problems here. Now, um, so again, 8, 9, and then 18, 19, and 20. Let's look at the next page. Problem solving. Uh, what page is that? 312. 312? Okay. So number 21 I want you to do. So circle it or mark it however you want. 22, 23, 24, and 25. So number 21, it says, How much longer is the maximum jump of a South African sharp-nosed frog than the maximum jump of a leper frog. So you're finding the difference. You're going to subtract one from the other. Okay? And uh, let's see here. Number 22, how many centimeters long is a bullfrog? Then it says round to the nearest whole number. Well, uh, how many centimeters long is a bullfrog? So we're talking about bite. And we're talking about bullfrogs. So it's And it says round to the nearest whole number, counting to the ones place. 
So if I was to do three tenths on a number line, and if this was one to zero, I'd want ten marks here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, that worked out pretty well. That was pretty close. So three tenths would be here. One, two, three tenths. So is that closer to zero or to one? Zero. Obviously closer to zero. So this way as twenty wouldn't change. You wouldn't you wouldn't increase it to twenty one. So if you were to round to the nearest whole number, it would just simply twenty. Okay. So there's twenty two done for you. Twenty three, which frog dumps about ten times its body length? Explain how you found your answer. Well, just remember, anything you multiply by 10, if I had 15.3 and I multiplied by, by 10, it would be, I would move the decimal just um, one place over, and that would be 150 if I multiplied 15.3 times 10. Okay? So I'll let you guys figure that one out. And then the last two, let me move this up, 24 and 25. So 24, I looked at it with the other class, and the, I thought it was worded, con, it was kind of confusing. It says, write three numbers that are common denominators of, and that's 7, 15, and 3, 5. How do you is that I'm going to find the common denominators of 15 and 5? Because that's the numbers that are common. And so I said, I did one common denominator. There's one common denominator. You've got two other numbers that are common denominators. I think you can do it. I think you can do it. So I think you can do it. Bye.